ED Rider, sponsored by ABC Taxis, achieving best customer service. Well, unless you've been living under a rock or in a cave for the last month, I'm sure you're aware of the hit ITV2 series, Love Island. It's basically a load of gorgeous young fit people stuck into a Spanish villa and they couple up. Now, the public has a massive say in what happens. They ultimately get to decide who stays on the island and who gets evicted from the show. It's had massive ratings of 2.1 million people watching every single night and Norfolk had one of its own in there. How are you doing, Dan? Where are we going? Well, I thought I'd let you decide. Somewhere you feel most comfortable, yeah? <laughs> Gone, and I know the perfect place. Let's go. I'll tell you what, if you can keep up with this workout, then I'll tell you anything you want. Really? Yeah. Right, let's go. You changed. I'm ready. I did right there, didn't I? Yeah, you did all right. That's not right. <laughs> I reckon I'll be on uh, the next series of Everline. What do you reckon? No, I'm buff. I don't know. You might be a bit old. <laughs> <laughs> well, thanks for joining me anyway. Um, That's right. Let's start before the series of Everline, before it started. Now, there was you had a girlfriend prior to going in. Yes. You split with. Was that kind of, you had to be um, single, I presume, to go on the show? Yeah, you do. But So for me, it, what I didn't split up with her to go on Love Island. That all happened afterwards. Um, I think we'd been split up probably about 10 weeks before I actually flew out. Um, my interview process, they approached me on a Saturday. I went for an interview on the Monday, um, and then the Thursday, and the following Tuesday, the Thursday, and the Friday, and yeah. I flew out on the Sunday. So it was literally like 10, 10 14 days, something That's like that. So have you kept in touch with the ex? Because um, obviously, you, you're sworn to secrecy. You can only tell like close family, close friends, anything like that. So the only people that I told were my parents, my sister, and her boyfriend. They were the four people that I told. So um, for everybody else, it was a complete shock. So when when it came out in the press that I was actually going on, obviously it was probably a little bit of a shock for her. So I was I was worried about her to like to make sure she was all right. So when I came back from Love Island, I made a point of going to see her and check she was all right. Um, Obviously, it probably didn't go down as well as I'd have liked, but <laughs> it's understandable. And I think for her, the time was going to be the biggest healer. Um, I've said what I've, I had to say, yeah. and I think in the long run, she'll understand that. Let's get on to the island itself. Okay. I mean, you're in there, pretty, it all happens, you said, very quickly. Yeah, yeah I very mean, quickly. Was, it, was it kind of what you expected it to be? For me, the reason why I left, uh, while I was a bit upset when I left, is because a day in there feels like a week, so mm. I was in there like six days. It's like leaving family. You're spending mm. 24 hours a day with people in there. Um, you're bonding with people that you wouldn't normally bond with on the outside world by choice. Um, so for me, yeah, it was like it was like leaving family, which was the upsetting part. Mainly Marcel, really. Yeah, and that's a big point, really. He was yeah. big pals with him, weren't you? Yeah, definitely. I think we were sort of on the same wavelength, and we were both in this, at the time. We were both in the same position, so we could relate to each other and if, if he had something that he wanted to talk to me about, he could talk to me and I could talk to him. Whereas we didn't, we didn't go about our conversations with our conversations, whereas a lot of other people, they'll have conversations and they'll then go and tell somebody else that conversation and then it'll escalate around the villa and things get added and twisted and it causes dramas. Whereas with me and Marcel, it was just like, just me and him. Because you're quite quiet, you, yeah. you admitted that yourself, you found it hard to come out of your shell. Did, did, um, is that going to go against you? It's quite surely it is, because people want to see those yeah, big characters. Yeah, like, I, I feel like some of the conversations in there I couldn't get involved with, um, so I was sit, sort of sitting back and just, just listening, really. Um, the last few days I came out of Michelle a lot more and people saw me for who I actually was in the villa. Um, I think the massive turning point for me was when I actually ditched Amber because for the first few days I felt like I was being talked about around the villa but as soon as I approached a group or something in there um, the conversations would just be cut yeah. cut dead. Um, so yeah. So you've got, there's about three weeks left of the show now, three weeks or so. Weeks. I mean who do you think, I mean surely Marcel and Yeah Gabby definitely, I feel like 
Even Who's the money on? If you had to yeah, put some Marcel, money Marcel and Gabby, 100%. Um, Montana and Alex, maybe now. They're, they're, they're sort of... Montana's a favourite and Alex has come in and he's sort of like Wooder and the public have seen that and they, they really suit as a couple, I think. So, mm. yeah, they're, they're the two main contenders. I feel like... I feel like Kim and Amber, they, do, they are suited, but there's so much drama there. Mm. I don't know, like... But that's what people want to see, isn't yeah. it? That's what people want to watch. But yeah. So what's next for you? For me... Um, I don't really know, to be honest. I'm just taking it in my stride. Like, I'm all up and down the country. I'm, I'm doing club appearances and things like that. Um, clothing brands approaching me. Um, just see what happens, really. Like, just riding the wave, as it were. Like, a lot of people have just said, take it while it's here, and then sort of just, just see what you want to do afterwards. But um, for me, like, primarily, it's going to be something, something gym orientated. I think, at the end of it. Well, you, you haven't got a bad body. It's not quite as good as mine, I would say. <laughs> but, but thanks for joining me today. And if you need any tips or with your love life, I've got a few numbers I'll give you later on, all right? OK, perfect. Top, Cheers, Cheers, mate. Rider, sponsored by ABC Taxis, achieving best customer service.